And we're glad you're still with us for our special Western New York dealing with Delta live from our rooftop set here in downtown Buffalo. Really the safest way to have this conversation with these four doctors and we're so thankful that they're here. Yeah, real bird's eye view there and this is the lightning round, Michael, here at yes. the end. No, we are taking your viewer <laughs> questions uh, with the time that we have left about Delta and schools and masks, the risk, getting back to normal, all of the things that you ask us the most. And so, Dr. Turkovich, I'm going to dive right in with you and uh, the the debate with masks in schools, it continues to go on. Um, there, of course, face coverings covered here in New York by the State Health Department, that's an order. Um, and people have so many differing opinions on this. And one of the things that we hear is that masks are bad for kids. Can you address that? Absolutely. You know, I understand that they're uncomfortable. I think you have to look at this from a risk benefit ratio. We know through scientific studies that have been done all over the world that masks are safe and they're very effective. They protect you and they protect others. And so the way I think about it is it takes a village, it takes a community to protect everybody and it's best practice to put the masks on. Um, it's going to prevent you and your loved ones from potentially getting COVID. And so I tell kids and I acknowledge that it is concerning and, and uncomfortable at times. However, it's for your protection and for everybody else's protection. Dr. Turkovich, thank you. Dr. Orlana, next to you. As you're having these conversations with people about whether or not to get vaccinated, I'm sure you hear from people who say, I had COVID before, I survived it, now I have these antibodies. Why would I risk it and go get this vaccine that I don't know what it will do to me? Um, people are encouraged, even if they've had COVID, to still get the vaccine, right? Absolutely. We don't know how long the immunity of COVID-19 lasts for, and getting vaccinated actually improves the immunization against COVID-19 and prevents the transmission as well. So it's very important for patients to get vaccinated, even though they have had COVID in the past, whether it's been a couple months or even last year. Um, it's very important to just get vac vaccinated to prevent uh, progression or spreading of the virus to your family and loved ones. We know that getting information is so important, um, but sometimes that can be a double edged sword. And Dr. Cloud, we want to talk about what people see online. They hear a lot about the VAERS system, which is something where people can report adverse reactions after they get shots. Um, and a lot of people think that the vaccine could be harmful to them um, or that there's a risk of that. So we want to ask you about the safety of vaccines and addressing some of that information that is out there that people can see when they're scrolling on Facebook. Yeah, the vaccine is extremely safe. So safe that I got my kids vaccinated who are just above the age of 12 um, the first morning they could get it. Um, ECMC has had nearly 1,400 patients admitted to the hospital with COVID-19. We've had zero patients admitted because of vaccine side effects. So um, I, it's, it's well demonstrated that it is a safe vaccine. Um, and I would say rather than um, trusting unverified sources on the internet, trust your physician. If you have questions, talk to your doctor. Yeah, I would say trust the four doctors that we have in front of us here right now. <laughs> Dr. Shiley, I want to end with you um, and ask you about breakthrough cases. Um, we knew that this was going to happen. No vaccine is 100% effective, right? But there are a lot of people out there who look at this and say, well, I know so and so who got the vaccine and yet they still got COVID. So why would I bother to do it? It doesn't really work. Um, can you address those breakthrough cases? And again, to what Dr. Cloud said earlier about the, the people who are ending up in the hospital are mostly the unvaccinated. Absolutely. So it's important to realize that breakthrough cases don't necessarily mean severe cases. Mm -hmm. And when people get the vaccine, even if they do have a breakthrough case, the chances that they become severely ill, requiring hospitalization or God forbid even death is far, far lower. And so there's an excellent amount of protection just for that alone. And the other important thing is that even though there's a breakthrough case, there's still a huge number of people that are getting protection, even from mild infection with the vaccines. So we're not happy the breakthrough cases are happening, but there's still a lot more benefit in getting that vaccine. It's certainly been an informative half hour. And again, we're so grateful to all of you for coming on uh, and giving your time um, to help out the people of Western New York. Yeah, we would also like to thank our crew, by the way. Uh, it's not easy to put on a show like this um, it, with all the COVID restrictions. Uh, so thank you to all the people behind the scenes and our team here at Channel 2 as well. Yes. And of course, thank you for watching. As always, thank <laughs> you for watching. And don't forget that you can always send us your questions and your comments to our tip line and vaccines.gov, the place to go to get information about where you can get your vaccine.